The culture is not only upside down, our politics are so divisive right now. And not that I want you to necessarily opine on the politics, though I am curious with an election coming up and you've got uh, a president and talk about a president. God uses imperfect people for sure for his perfect will. Uh, but you've got religious freedom trying to be protected by this administration. And you have another a potential administration coming along that might narrow, if not eliminate some of those freedoms. How concerned are you about the politics of all of this? Well, uh, to me, it, it's not politics as such. It's morality. Mm -hmm. um, and let me start at the, at the beginning point. The conservative people, and I think this is generally true, conservative people are truth seekers. Mm -hmm. This is true even of young conservative millennials. They want to know the truth. They have an open mind to know the truth. I, I've been asked now to write a column regularly for the Daily Wire. That's a millennial group of people, and they're wanting to know the truth. On the other hand, liberal and progressive millennials just want to tear down. They just want to destroy. And you know, the most dangerous person in a society is the person who doesn't believe anything. You know, if, yeah. if you don't believe anything, you're the most dangerous person there is because if you've got nothing to lose, how do we control you? So you have one side of this political spectrum where destruction is the means of everything and you have the others trying to find the truth. Uh, we can say, thank God that we have a president who's conservative, surrounded by people who care about the truth and who believe in moral righteousness and moral good and are fighting against evil. Look, I, no politician is going to be everything we want. The question is not politics, it's morality. Mm -hmm. A Christian couldn't possibly vote for someone who would legalize killing babies in the womb. That's premeditated murder at the worst point. Mm. Or somebody who advocated immorality, homosexuality, transgender activity, who wanted to outlaw conversion therapy. All of those things are baked into the platform of the Democratic Party. Mm. This is not about social views. This is not about economic views. This is a battle between biblical morality and what's left of it and outright blatant sin. And for a believer, there's only one possible way you can go, go, and that is to vote for righteousness for the honor of God and to allow the society to flourish in God's redemptive purpose.